Nice no, shoe shaped lounge, isn't it? Mm. Proper nose here, isn't Up it? Text TV. And because of the extra tint, we can stare at people. Yeah. And nobody will know it. Oh, as well. Face is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ked, you've left the engine running. Ah, reason for that. Reason for that, no, he's forgot. In his old age, he's forgot. Three seconds, it says. Can't do a video, Kev, with the engine running. Okay, okay. Let me help you out. Accept, right, continue. There we go, right. Leveling. Yep. Stabilise. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Right, you know why I've done that? Why? Right. I'm going to pour me wine. Yeah, what's like that? I won't spill any wine. Do you have to keep the engine on? I'll turn it off then. Oh, okay. That's about that then. That's probably about five grand worth of kit. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got it just to level your wine. Yeah. And, and a cup of tea. The soup in a bowl as well. Because you dribble all your soup in the way. Bit overkill on a camper van, isn't it? It is really, isn't it? <laughs> I've got two plastic ramps that I shove under wheel and drive onto them. Um, yeah, seats has gone off now. That's probably a safety feature yeah. on it. Now we've got Kev. But anyway, why are you here? Why aren't you there? Because Jake's there. Oh, okay. Well, have a dog and bite yourself. <laughs> woof, woof. Go on, Jake, woof. It's on form today, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Have you had your Weetabags? No, toast. Toast? Cheese spread on toast. Okay. Cheese spread? Yeah. Cheese spread? Yeah. Oh, no. In the tub? No. No, I'll have my blade. Right. No. Strawberry jam as well, but I don't like the strawberry bit. Don't, so. don't do jam, don't do don't marmalade. Do. No, no. Savoury rather than sweet. That no. might be a bit like a no. caravan to us, isn't it? Love all right. Most of them, caravan marmite. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, toast with cheese spread, would you have it or not? What unusual concoctions that you have on your toast? So we've got an Auto Trail V Line 636 Sport. So it's 6.3 metres. Um, 6.36 meters. Now, Kev, they do a V-Line 636 SE, <laughs> which would be special edition, yeah. and they also do the 636 Sport, and there's probably, read from brand new, there's a couple of thousand pound difference. I think they're about 75, 78 grand now, so the Sport is more money than the SE. Have you got that? You've got to go faster stretch, have it? So, uh -huh. right. so this one's a 2021. Right, so you're probably in excess of sixty-three to sixty-five thousand. Yeah. We ain't getting sorry for that. Yeah. Right now, We've got nice alloys. Yeah. Overkill. This has got more kit on it than what you're wearing at the moment. Right. So it's two berth, yeah. four belted seats. Yeah. Overkill. It's 140 brake horsepower. Overkill. It's got levering ramps. Level overkill. overkill. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the weight? I say three and a half ton. Yeah, normal. <laughs> right, it's only done eleven thousand miles. Um, Six-speed manual. Um, fresh water capacity. Eighty. Seventy. Waste. Seventy. There you go. Five years, is it? And you're finally learning. I'm getting there. Yeah. Vents for the fridge. We've got the fresh water. Thank you. Nice. You said yeah. there. Nice alloys there. Alloys, yeah. Got two bar on it, don't you? Got a tow bar. Mm. Yeah. And something special about the Auto Trail. Got a boot. Got a boot. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put. Um... Oh, oh, I'm gone, Kev. Kev, you're on the ball here, aren't you? And you've got storage there. Storage. Where you've got your buckle and your table. Where's the table? There's your table. There's, you've got the tripod for it. Yeah. There's your thing to there's your pole. Sunny table on. There's your windy uppy thing. Yeah, but there's no table there. No like table will be inside the van. Okay. Accessories for the table. 
Right, so let's get this back in. Hang on. It's not a bad little feature actually, is it? Yeah. It used to come with chairs, you know, wouldn't it? Used to, come, it used to come with two chairs, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so there you go, storage at the back. Okay, what's that? Barbecue point. He says he's finding a barbecue point. Yep. Quite good, that, because you can stand under here and barbecue. So you can stand <laughs> under there and yeah, barbecue. Right. right. Oh, it's a big old boot, hasn't it? That's it. Well, it doesn't shut right, Kev. No. Pull that back on. Upside down. So we're looking at phosphorus grey. What do you say that? Phosphorus grey? Charcoal. Charcoal? Yeah. That's what are you going for? Um, graphite, actually. Graphite. It's a toilet. Yeah. I like the black. I know it's not mm. much, but I do like that. Um, it looks a bit odd if it were white. Waste? Yeah. There we've got the flue for possibly the heating mm -hmm. or hot water. Uh, again, I'm liking the black. Yeah. Outside shower. It's a filling with water. It's, like it's an outside shower. Oh, so right. you put that on, you can wash your van off using the fresh water tank. 70 litres. Because <laughs> if you remember, the fresh water's the yeah. other side, won't it? What's that there? RPG. So on the, we've got on the, the underslung tank. Underslung tank. Right. We've also got Kev. Air suspension. Air suspension as well. Yep. The little light there, by the way, the little indicator light there is when you've used your self-leveling that'll light up when i come to turn the engine off that light was on to say it's self-leveled oh okay and we've just got to remember as well we've got the self-leveling down yeah so um it'll go back up when you start the lpg that's telling us how much lpg we've got in the, in the tank the gauge, yeah. and that only works when we start the engine the little lights go up and it tells us how much we've got in that's an idea so Electric strap, comfort cab, you've got your media pack there, you've got aircon, six speed manual, all your controls on your on there, you've got uh, blinds. Oh, I like that. That's a big blind on the front, yeah. yeah I do like that. What are the ones on the side like? Uh, flippy uppy ones. Flippy uppy things. Like a, like a China, a Japanese fan. Yeah, good, aren't they? Yeah. Quite delicate, really. So, Do the seats swivel? Seats swivel. There you go. Both seats swivel. Yeah. I'll put that there because you usually want to sit down anyway, don't you, when you're doing that? Those windows look dark. I'm glad you, glad you mentioned that and noticed that, Kev, because he has he's had extra tint. Whoever had this had an extra tint on as well. High screen, blinds, and then we've got. Ooh, Underneath, isn't it? Yep. That opens up for there. And Kev, I'm going to show you the new table. Yeah. Look at that. Well, look, somebody sat there can use the table. Well, they can use half of it. Yeah. Yep. Two belted seats yep. as well. Oh, and then, how's this left off? Oh. And if you just have a look down there, it's just storage. So uh, we've got storage down there. This doesn't make up into a bed, Kev. No. No. Look what I've just seen there. No, not the bin. We haven't got a lifty uppy thing, have we? No. We have, Kev. No, we have lifty uppy. There you go. Lifty uppy thing. You've also got a plug socket under there as well. Ah, sneaky little plug socket. We also need the spring doing on that as well, don't we? Oh, that's alright. That was me. So, nice, simple control for the auto trail. So, nice and simple. It's telling us the leisure battery. And then we can scroll, and then we can't scroll through. What are we doing here, Kev? You're pressing buttons willy nilly. I am, aren't I? Vehicle battery. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you can scroll through. And we can just scroll through nice and simple, like so. Nice, yeah. little, nice little pocket thing, is it? I like the roof on it there, Kev. Mm. Little cubby all there for things. Save Not that. big enough for your wallet, is it? I like this uh, LED light above here. Okay. Now what we are seeing, the new heated hot water. Whale is it? Whale? Yeah. Whale? Yeah. So, this is our heating. And the dead simple, I'm not going to do it now, is you just press on there for the gas. 
and press on for the electric and then that's the temperature can you see we can go all the way around there for temperature i know it's all in your hot shells are using well now aren't they oh quick turn that off turn that off and then this is your water water water, water. same thing we've got gas and electric and we can use up to three kilowatts there okay. by the looks of it and then again you just scroll around for your temperature storage on your tank Oh, that's what you like there. Storage? Yep, storage there. Sink. Yep. Yeah, storage there. Equal sink. Yeah. And then we're getting a three burner hob. Yep, combined oven grill. Yeah. Black cuff sip, combined oven grill. And then we're getting a micro. Yeah, yeah everything you need. All the bells and whistles. Yeah, happy with that. That's nice as well. That'll do as privacy, won't it, for your bedroom. As you can see, we've just got a wet room. Yeah. The shower's there. It's down there because we've got the vehicle drain for the winter. So that's why we've taken it down there. You've got a drop down sink. Yeah, there's your tap for your drop down sink. You've got storage behind your mirrors. Cassette toilet. Uh, quite a decent one. You've actually got a shower curtain as well to keep it off the doors. So it's a decent sized shower area. You've got storage there as well. So. Yeah, quite good. So what we get in? You're in the way again, Kev. Come sit down. I'll come sit down. Come, come get to sit down. Wardrobe. There's another pole. Have we found that table yet? Uh, I've found I've found it, Kev. I've found it. No. And then we've also got the three-way fridge. Decent size. Well, pretty standard size. And then look here. There's your table, isn't it? There's your table. Yeah, because it's got the... Oh, let's get it out. Move this across. There you go. That's where your pole goes. And you've yeah. got a tripod so you can have it, uh, you can put your pole in here. The floor. You can have it fixed there. But it's got a tripod on it so you can actually take it outside and use it under the awning. Yeah. We did mention it, you got an awning. Nice shoe shaped lounge, isn't it? Hmm. Proper nose here, isn't Altex it? Altex TV. And because of the extra tint, we can stare at people. Yeah. And nobody will know it as well. Full face is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Such a child you are, Cam. Right, so what we got around? Skylight above? Yep. Loads of storage, isn't there? It's quite a bad fault list because we've had this in the past. Where... Yeah. Open the window, Jason. Now, if I was to slide this door all the way, bang, it's got to smash that window. Yeah? Not a very good design. That's not a cheap window, is it? No. Look at that. You'd find out how much it costs if you open the door. You've got to be wary of that. If I open that door fully with that window open, bang. And it has happened. Yeah, so what we will do at some point, we'll put a lock on that. Yeah. So We've got a little lock we can fit on it and that'll stop. Yeah, so it fits on top of the stay so you can't open the stay. And a little warning sticker on it. I'm making a bed here, making a bed. Pull that over. They slot out. I've got a bed. Kev? Yeah? What them? What? 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 Uh, is that out of the wardrobe? What do you mean out of the wardrobe? It's underneath the bed here. Yeah, should it go in there? Oh, good shout! Well, there's one already in. Not the same? There's one already in and that's too long anyway to go in there. What about the back washroom? Have a look, see if there's any brackets for it in here. Yeah, I don't know what that's for, Jason. That's bugged me now, Kev, that is. Kevin? Yeah. You still here? I'm still here. I'm trying to think what it can be for. Right, we've got storage underneath. Oh, Kev, I found it. I know what they're for. Go on. I know what they're for. Hang on. See, my eagle spotting. Right, Luke. Look, that goes in there. Oh, that doesn't go in there. Well, what's that? Is that the same size? Well, there's two, there's a slot there, see them? Yes, yeah. And there's a slot there. Oh, it's bugging me now, this is. Oh. It's got to do something, Kev. It's got to fit in somehow, haven't they? 
push How many doors he put? Yeah. That fits in. Yeah. Ah, look. Extra support for the bed. Yeah. Yeah, so you put that in now, look. Yeah. Good support. Because, if you notice, you've got no legs on the bottom. Yeah. There's no legs there. So that's your extra support. One goes in there, obviously one will go in there. And that's your extra support. Make a note of that guys on the uh, checklist. That's a good idea actually, Kev, we will do. Leg supports under bench seat. We have a checklist that we do when we hand the van over, so we need to put a bullet point on that, but that's what they're for. Because it might not necessarily be Jason or myself or could be anybody handing the van over, so we need to make a point. Did you say that. like myself then? Yeah. Well, when was the last when well, was the last time you handed a van over? A long time. <laughs> a long time ago. Okay, where's well, your battery? We've got the consumer unit there, Kev. Yep. Um, 230, 12 volts, quite straightforward really. You've got your heater there, that has to be switched on if you want to use the electric. And that is your, what's that one there? That's your charger. Is there right. a facility for an extra battery? Sometimes on hot trails you have a, the leads already there, no? No, there isn't no. looking like this one, Kev. And then I think we've got a bit of storage. Yeah, we've got, I don't know if you can see down there, we have got a bit of storage so in there. Right, one thing I really like about this van, Kev, I'm going to put this back, is this. It's got solar on it, right? Mm -hmm. Look here, we've got a nice little button so we can charge the leisure battery up, we can flip over and we can charge the vehicle battery. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know why, you can switch it off. Not that you'd want to. There's your outside shower there. Oh yeah, well, was it outside shower? Mm. I told you. Not for us, mate. So that's quite, I, I like that, especially in winter time, yeah. you can rotate them yeah. and keep getting a bit of a trickle charge in, so good design that really. You don't necessarily get enough to charge both batteries when you've got a split, a dual charger, a dual controller. Yeah. Because it'll do your leisure and your vehicle. You can put it all into one battery. Yeah. Now I must say, it's just definitely a two berth. Yeah. It's gonna be, because there's three others in, in here now and it is a bit cramped, isn't it? But with a two berth, it will work because you've got this area here. What you could do is you could keep that made up if you wanted to, yeah. your fixed bed. Yeah, this, is, this is your lounge area. Yeah, yeah. it's typical old trail. You haven't got facility feed television in here, have you? Kev, I've got a view here. Mm. Not really. So I mean, for a nice one at the moment, though, isn't it? <laughs> I've got the times I can read. Yeah. I've got my encyclopedias I can study. You take him serious, Jake? Yeah. What do you mean, no? Your son knows better. Yeah. So, we can do the work here. Yeah. We can do the work. We can, we, we've got a dining area or eating yeah. area. Yeah. But don't forget the idea is obviously with the camper van is not to be inside the van. We're going to be out all the time. Yeah. Not judging by this this season's weather. That's been awful, hasn't it? It has been awful. So there you have it, the Ultra Trail V-Line 636 Sport. Um, they're probably around about 65-ish at the moment. It's a really nice van. You've got the extras on with the LPG. You've got the levelling ramps on, which will come in handy, yeah. in fairness. I think... Well, especially for older people. For you? Yeah. You've got a bad back, you've got to get down and put your ramps down and you could beep, beep. How's it go? Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? If you had levelling ramps on your, the, like these yeah. on your van, I've actually, if you moved to another van and didn't have them on, you'd realise how much you'd you miss them. them. Yeah. yeah. It's not until you have them yeah. do you actually appreciate them, yeah. basically. So we do so, get quite a few vans with them on, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Well, it is an expensive bit of kit. They are getting more popular. So there you have it, the Ultra Trail Six Three Six. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and we'll. Good for another funny. Yeah.